Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast. Some big news coming through on the corporate front. There is a change of guard at IT Belva. The TCS, as Rajesh Gopinathan, has stemmed, uh, stepped down as the MD and CEO of the company and will be succeeded by K. Krithivasan, who is currently heading the BFSI division at TCS. So, Reema is here to tell us more. Uh, Reema comes as quite a surprise four years ahead of its term ending. Absolutely. This announcement has come out of the blue now. Uh, so first, the news. TCS has announced the resignation of MD and CEO Rajesh Gopinathan. Rajesh will be replaced by an insider and a TCS veteran, K. Krithivasan, who is currently heading TCS's BFSI vertical. But in his 34-year journey with TCS, he's held many leadership roles and he's been in charge of a lot of... He's been uh, of, uh, given a lot of responsibilities. Now, uh, this news, as I said, comes in as a surprise. It's a sudden surprise exit because Rajesh was appointed as... reappointed as the MD and CEO uh, only in March last year for a five-year term. So he's stepping down four years ahead of his term coming to an end, which is in February of 2017. That said, the transition is likely to be smooth because Rajesh will be grooming Krithivasan over the next six months. While Rajesh has announced his uh, exit uh, yesterday, uh, his last day will be 15th of September, so he's got a full six months to transition Krithivasan into the role of a CEO and MD, so the transition is likely to be smooth and plus. TCS is known for its stable senior leadership. Kriti Vasan, as I said, is an insider. He's a veteran. He heads BFSI Vertical, which is the largest vertical for TCS. That said, uh, leadership change is never easy. And for particularly this time, it comes at a time when the technology industry is growing through a turmoil, given fears of a growth slowdown, moderating revenue growth for the IT industry. Remember, TCS has been trailing in forces for the last three years in terms of a top line. And even in FY23, it's estimated that Infosys growth is likely to be more than TCS. So I guess the task on hand for Kriti Vasan will be to bridge uh, this underperformance versus its closest peer Infosys, though TCS has always uh, you know, held margin leadership. CLSE is just pointing out an interesting fact. They're given the age of TCS's senior leadership because Kriti Vasan is 58 years old and N. Ganapati Subramanyam, COO, is 63 years of age. So they believe succession planning could be a point of focus, especially for long-term investors. Back to you. All right, Reema, thanks a lot for getting us all of the details. In fact, you can catch the outgoing MD and CEO Rajesh Gopinathan as well as the successor K. Kriti Vasan addressing the media over this big leadership change at 8.30 a.m., here on CNBC TV 18. But with that, we do need to get into a short break on the show. On the other side, we're going to shift to the world of commodities and tell you what's going on, so stay tuned.